Hello everyone and many of us gaming in a new Conflict of Nations video. Today we are playing with Australia and we are going to launch an attack on Peru. We already launched a full scale um, attack against the Latinos and now we need to take down their leader. So I'm with Australia and my troops are basically Air Force and Navy and my ally Indonesia have a lot of land troops such as rocket launchers, infantry officer and some anti airs and we are going to push uh, from the both sides, from the land side and the ocean side. Later I will show you what kind of articles I have on the ocean. Now let's focus on my air force and especially the stealth bombers. So first I, I am sending my max level heavy bombers for all of his um, cities. I need to take them down as soon as possible and destroy all of his buildings. Uh, my intel says that Peru has a lot of anti airs and uh, theater defense systems and I don't know if he has mobile anti airs or not but I hope he doesn't because it's going to cause a lot of problems for my choppers. Okay, a gunship wing attacked by an anti air. Sams cannot attack gunships, only mobile anti air, so it is confirmed that Peru has mobile anti airs and it's going to cause a lot of problem to us, to be honest. I don't worry too much because they have a lot of firepower, so uh, attack by attack, I will take them all down, okay? My gunships already are detecting a lot of anti airs in the Peruvian soil and I'm attacking them one by one. Uh, SAMS and theater defensive system cannot cause so much trouble for us, I can take them all down by my gunships. And also my stealth bomber is giving us a huge advantage as it is stealth and is not detected so I can patrol anywhere I want and I can see what kind of troops he has. We already took down a uh, mobile Antia there in Equitos, uh, near Equitos, and also are going to clear Equitos so soon. It is already so close to my airfield, so the uh, frequency of my gunship attacks would be so fast. Done. It is down. Okay. Let's focus now on the attack of my heavy bombers, uh, which are going to Cusco and Arequipa. Let's follow this bomber going to Equitos and you will see what kind of damage we will get so we will know what kind of anti-air he has there. If it's a minor uh, damage that would be mobile anti-air but it's, if it is huge that would be a SAM. So we have 94 and you will see how much we will get later. It is still alive so I guess he has a lot of anti air there, it's 90 so it's not too much I guess it's a mobile anti air, either it's a mobile anti air or a SAM but it is already uh, so exhausted because it didn't give me so much damage there. I will attack it with all my choppers and take it down because it is so close to my airfield and it's causing so much trouble and attacking my air force. One of my bombers is approaching Cusco. Uh, I'm going to send it another one because it looks like a heavy tanker there. Uh, with my heavy bomber, 16 damage against uh, infantry and 6 against armored vehicles. They will do a lot of damage, especially for the buildings and morale of his city. So much notifications and so much attacks there. And we engage Cusco by the first bomber and the other bomber is uh, attacking Huracayo. I took down his land troops and he has aircrafts already landing there so it's my chance to take them off 
now my other heavy my other stack of heavy bombers is attacking it i guess i will take it down now or not uh, we will see yes we took it down good he have no aircrafts now that's good and he also have another airport in the capital lima but it is being uh, bombarded by our um, navy there so i'm not going to worry the indonesian ship has showed me that there is there is a land radar here yes here it is it's i guess it's an anti-air or a defensive theater system so i patrol it first with my uh, stealth bomber So, whenever we are ready, we can attack it, okay? So, we destroyed the Antia in Iquitos. Our helicopter gunships did the work. And now they are free to go to this Antia here. My stealth bomber has already engaged and lost a lot of damage. Practically, it's around 10 points of HP. That means that there we have maybe... Um, three or four defensive theater systems or one SAM there because this damage if we calculate it um, it can be a SAM there yes because now my helicopter gunships are not touched by this uh, on the air so the only definition and the only explanation here that it's a SAM or a defensive theater system and the gunships did the work and took it down that's why in always in my air force i do a variety between strikers or bombers or and the helicopters because helicopters are the weak point of the sams and the bombers are the weak points of the buildings of the mobile anti-airs of other articles you see this is how you get a, a very good combination of um, of air force and of course whenever you have stealth bombers or stealth strikers it would be amazing because you can patrol everything now it's our naval stack with the naval officer and a submarine officer and one max level destroyer and two max level attack submarines it's the perfect naval uh, stack with two officers in it with uh, both giving the bo bonus for the ships and for the submarines it is untouched by any ships it is untouched by any submarine it is so strong and deadly there in this game in australia i didn't make so much navy because uh, i have the air force first and also i did uh, some submarines to protect my shores you understand and make these officers to be in the front always attacking uh, the opponent's um, navy so now we are heading to Arequipa with army base level 5 so it is producing uh, defensive theater systems we attacked it we destroyed some of the buildings but not all of it because high levels there we took down the infantry of that stack and still the armored vehicle there we are going to push forward with another heavy bomber we um, caused a lot of damage to the city and these stealth bombers are already roaming the place and attacking all of his anti-airs there. That's the advantage here, that we can, uh, we can patrol whenever we want, we can patrol anytime we want, but be careful. Three star sands can detect the stealth bombers. Be careful of that. You have to make sure first that your opponent doesn't have three, three star sands. If he does, Keep your stealth bombers home, don't take them in the front because you will lose them easily and they are so expensive to make and they are so expensive to produce so be careful. So we reached the end of our video and I hope you like it, it's another win. Until the next video guys, bye bye.